what's going on in the world, no matter what's going on in your life, everything is gonna be okay. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Faye, Today. and we are back with another video. What are we doing? Today, we're reacting to Quiet on the Set, oh. Dark Side of Kids TV, Louis Documentary, Episode 3. This has been crazy. Just found out my guy, Drake Bell, is the guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's the guy, David I'm not, like, I'm really not looking forward to watching this, but looking forward to watching this at the same time yeah we need to know like people need to we always speculate you know based on rumor what happens in hollywood and unless you're in hollywood you really don't know so we're kind of getting an inside yeah. an inside scoop to what's really going on make sure y'all go ahead and tell us what y'all think and how y'all feel about all of the allegations and all of the things that's been said in this video uh, go ahead and again like this video share this video roll to 10k let's jump right into episode three don't waste no more time in january 2004 dan schneider launches his next big show Nickelodeon presents Drake and Josh premiering January 11th. It's That's one of my favorites. The next generation I don't really watch this one to be honest. This was funny. Like, me brother. like obviously it was <laughs> on, so I saw some episodes, but it wasn't saying like was, I ran them watch. two were so great, and the sister, um, oh my, Miranda Cosgrove. Right? Oh yeah, I know Miranda. She's fire too. She killed it. Dialogue no, coach on, Ryan no, Peck was still is arrested. This time. He just Brian wasn't known by Drake. We're still in shock of the announcement that Brian will no longer Nasty be working with man. us. And we're like, what happened? My name is Drake Bell, and I came here today to tell my story. I love that old school look they use for the logo. Mm. I started acting when I was five years old. My mom and my dad Ooh. were going through a divorce, and my dad was looking for something to do with his son. I saw an advertisement for the kids' Hollywood connection, and I thought, whoa, that's something that Drake could do. Robin, mm -hmm. my ex-wife, she said, oh, that's great, and I started mm -hmm. taking him to auditions. Got a, a manager and an agent, and then we were off. <laughs> oh, look at those pictures! <laughs> That's Wouldn't really it be fun to fly? Oh. The candy bar? No, the famous big We were sort of just flying by the seat of our pants. I he started imagine. getting some commercials. You can't catch all 150 Pokemon by yourself. So close. He's in the Pokemon commercial. The first Pokemon when there's only 150. Ooh. Go back to the same thing the next day. Him and I, I just became so close that it was like it was just natural. He booked home improvement, and Drake came on as a little construction guy. Thank you for my swing set, Mr. Toolman. He also did wow, a little side he was in that where George, because as he's walking down the hall, he turns back to that was Drake too, and he's supposed to flip him off, but Drake wouldn't even use his middle finger. He used Aww. the ring finger. That's a really good movie. If you watch movie. the movie, you'll see that. But you gotta Aww. Oh, such a sweet, yeah, innocent a sweet kid. kid. Yeah. If David would have gave me this, use your middle finger. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> An audition came up for the Amanda Those are cute glasses. Show on Nickelodeon. Mm-hmm. Is it? I'm sure. So it's Nickelodeon, so it's a kid's dream. Right. Yeah, I'm sure. It's the place to the be kids. and work if you're a kid. The Paramount Studios. It was like time to play. <laughs> there were a lot of really fun sketches and characters. Like totally Kyle was like the surface. I movie. like totally yeah, Kyle. I love Kyle. Wacky stories at you know, one time. Yeah, I loved I saw him. A spider and I was all ah, spider <laughs> and the spider was all. Kyle! It was <laughs> a lot of fun. <laughs> He's trying not to laugh. Everything was really, really cool. 
until we got to Nickelodeon on Sunset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, left Paramount. Sunset from Paramount Studios. Brian yeah. Peck came in during the second season. He'd been working in the industry for a very, very long time. It's the uncomfortable he music behind about this about the history too. of Hollywood, yeah. and that's what I love. I was told that Brian was a good coach and that he could really get Drake some jobs. He worked with Leonardo DiCaprio. He worked with this person, that person. I said, oh, okay. Well, he said, oh, we opportunity, need to come to opportunity, that's opportunity. That's all you see in here. Yeah. And they so know we that. Started... He had this really cool house with all of this Hollywood memorabilia and the John Wacy shit. He wanted to live in. <laughs> The John Casey shit. Like, Sorry. When you see John Wayne Casey. Any other nice co worker. And you're still a naive kid. Like, yeah. let's be mindful. Because we had a lot of the same interests, which, looking back, I think that was probably a little calculated. Grow me. Yeah. Mm. Creepy. You hear us uh, just touch Drake. You know, do mm. things that, wait a second. What are you doing? Drake can put that on himself. And the thing mm. is, this is in front of people. Mm, so he's making it look innocent. Yeah. Walk over to Drake and be Getting all y'all used to this shit. Put his, around his waist. put his hand up on his shoulder and kind of run it down his arm and things this like that. Kid, and this though. would happen routinely. It was just always uncomfortable. And then as a parent, you like, maybe I'm bugging. Like, maybe I'm overreacting. Never. Yeah. <laughs> I saw this video of Brian Peck. On if you got to think about it video, twice, don't think Capito, about it. Grabbing his shoulder, running across him and Look. going down his arm. Look, they both. Yeah. That's the kind of behavior I saw him with my son. And Leonardo was young back then. Wow, yeah. that, whoa, that was young Leo. And said, you know, hey, I really you know, am very they didn't uncomfortable want anybody, with this guy, what they say about Brian Leo Peck. Now. I don't, to be Always honest. being around my son. I go, I don't see anything abnormal, but children. it just doesn't, okay. I don't have a good right. feeling. Uh, I don't and she goes, oh, well, I don't know if you knew it or not, but he's gay. Yeah. Maybe you're just homophobic and you just, you know, oh, you just don't goodness. understand that that's, he's a touchy That was probably guy. used so much so back So I then. said, okay. In hindsight, I should have been able to see but as a kid you have no idea you have no clue. right but my dad right. saw it a mile away mm. it's like you don't want to alert your child to put anything in their mind but you also kind of do want to like ask questions so you can figure out what you need to figure out during the, and also the keep amanda them show aware that, we were still working know, on the next idea what for what would be the drake and josh show grilled shrimp that had landed from the sky <laughs> Josh the was writers funny of the Amanda too. Show had leaned over to Dan and said, "Hey, you know, Nickelodeon's really looking funny. for some sort of new buddy comedy." Yeah, if any other two know, like I'm coming people, up with this idea for that's it. Josh, would you be interested in doing that? That was it. We couldn't believe it. I mean, me and my dad drove home, just going, "What in the world? Like, this is, this is your this own is what show." I've always dreamed of Drake and Josh. They ain't even changed the names up. They really just calling y'all what y'all names are back then. Yeah, Amanda. Yeah, that's crazy. Like you were big enough to be a brand. That's yeah. that's crazy. He would come to my concerts. And that's when it started to get a little bit. Um, yeah. Brian Peck, who pops up, Brian's friends, and they're following Drake all through the Strawberry Festival. And I'm just going, what is this? So he's weird. a kid. I never played with a brand new. It was just exciting. Your friends are like weird too. It was just like my friends are coming to my shows. Mm. It was my 15th birthday. Brian suggested, oh, hey, you can perform and oh, everybody can come. I lived in Orange mm. County, which is an hour away. It just didn't seem like something that was that out of the ordinary. Just like a yeah, friend letting like, you have a party yeah. at the house. Yeah. So I've thrown a party for somebody in my and house. And I saw like, these. Yeah. Um, birthday cards from Brian's friends that were at the party and they were really inappropriate. Adult things in them, adult Ew. descriptions. And I thought, whoa, this is... Like and what? I said, Drake, what is this? He goes, I don't know. I didn't even know I had those. They wanted you to and read so them alone. Just left it at that. 
And Brian so and his friend. My dad started making it very difficult for Brian to be around mm. him. Mm -hmm. I think Brian got a sense that my dad was on the watch. And so he started to really drive a wedge between my dad and me. He yeah. started talking about how my dad's stealing my money. Nobody likes that my dad's on set. He's a real problem. That's so sad. You would really tear a relationship between so the boy and his You father. are fucking creep, bro. It was horrible for my career. Creep. I wasn't going to be able to move forward with him in it. I was believing it because he's been in this business for so long and he must know more than us. I hope he's still in jail. Oh, and this is why it's important to talk to your kids about what you're thinking and how you're feeling on some type of level so they are aware. Yeah. And no, they probably will not get it. Yeah. But they'll settle with it and think about it at some point. Yeah. Like when shit get weird when you're with Brian alone now. You'll yeah. peep it already because you'll have my little voice in the back of your head. So Brian really started getting into my mom's mind and telling her the same things he was telling me. To the mom. And mom, mom is not going to be as we'll on him. It's on situation. Uh, there was never any mishandling of any funds. And then I got a phone call from his mom mm. saying, Drake doesn't want you to be his manager anymore. Mm. Wow. That hurt. My dad was like, Well, because he tries to keep him away from a weirdo. Protect At that you time, with his heart. I want what my son wants. Aww. It's killing mm -hmm. me, it's hurting mm -hmm. me. Yeah. These parents love their kids, bro. Mm -hmm. In my heart, but I'm going to do what Drake wants. These in parents the last love their kids. Bro. Said, okay. They just want them to be happy. The black lady who didn't say anything. She just wanted her son to, yeah. to get what he want, bro. Because he said something, and they didn't turn. Now he lost. She says she lost her son. He's lost his son too. The same. It's crazy. You know. Oh man, this is gonna make me cry. Oh, man. If you start crying, I'm um, definitely gonna ball out of control. Please don't. I do what you gotta do. I, I <sighs> broke down and cried. And, but I did say to her, and I said this to her in person I said, but you never leave him alone. Ever leave Drake alone with Brian Peck, and you never let him be around him unsupervised, period, whatsoever. Period. Mm -hmm. And bitch, that's the way I draw the line. That's what I would draw the line. That's what I would draw the line. You knew that I loved going to Disneyland. Just say, hey, me and my friends are going to Disneyland. You know, would you like you to come? And your friends we go spend the whole day adults? there and have a, Just a great time. Brian put himself in the position of what my dad was doing my whole life. You mm. got him out. My mom didn't want to drive to LA. <laughs> oh God. I would end up staying the night. Mm -hmm. Because well, I lived in Orange Duh. County, and I would have of course we got to stay the night. Oh it my would be, god! You know, easier to drive me home. It's in like the so mm -hmm. sad that this is. That he knew that all he had to do was get rid of his father. He knew that. Everything changed with Brian one morning. Like a lump in my throat. It's just everything. Yeah. I knew that everything. I knew that my life was going to be absolutely completely different from that point on. Mm. He's broken, bro. Yeah. He's thinking about it, like. I, I just opened my eyes, I woke up, and he was, uh, he was sexually assaulting me. I couldn't run outside, have my, I, I mean, I just, you know, what am I, call my mom and be like, hey, this just happened, can you come pick me up? I'll just sit here and wait. Whatever it takes. I had no sometimes. car. I didn't drive. It's too young. I get it. I was 15 at this I time. Know, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it, Drake. I'm so tired that that happened. And so. It's so sad. It just became this. Cycle. This secret that I had held on to. It didn't happen. He figured right. out how to uh, convince my mom and everyone around to have me, you know, anytime I would have an audition or anytime I needed to work on dialogue or anything. Damn. I somehow ended up back at Brian's house. 
But it didn't happen again, right? And it just got worse mm. and worse mm. and worse and worse. Mm. You gotta be guilty too as a kid and, to know that uh, you could have said something and you didn't nah, you push your dad away. You push your dad away. And your mom didn't notice a difference in you. Like, no matter how hard you try, when you're going through stuff, you, you it shows if people and are paying attention, got, uh, if they want to pay attention. I don't know. Uh, Chest all tight, heart uh, I really don't know how to. Uh, um, elaborate on that on, on camera, really. Mm -hmm. Why don't you do this? Yeah. Why don't you think of the worst stuff that someone can do to somebody as a sexual assault? And that'll answer your question. Mm. Yeah. I don't know how else to put it. This is where the wall come back up. It was just yeah. too, it's too hard it to, a, to even talk about. And I get one it. One time thing. It was not a... That's unfortunate. Oops. I... No, it is... I mean, I... Mm. Mm. He was smiling in all the other pictures that they showed. They probably changed him like instantly. Music He's probably got dark. I look back, and her mom took her about six seconds to find out to uh, to catch on to what was going. I on. told you, like, what, what? I'm not trying to be there mean to mom, but like, you weren't paying house, attention. And yeah. Brian had. Plan to take me to Disneyland, and Brian's calling my cell phone nonstop. I was just ignoring it. Well, he started calling my girlfriend's house. What the hell? Desperate. Nonstop. Creepy man. I mean, over and over. Oh yeah, it was only going to keep getting worse. Over. This nigga's fucking. Oh yeah, see, this is Finally, the. Her mom answered. Like what? And no, he not going. It to me. Oh. Mm. And he's like, what are you doing? We had plans. People are watching me on the phone, so I just played it off as like I. Must yeah, have see, that's what he would have never did that I'm, to I'm, his I'm mom. I'm gonna hang here tonight. Yeah, he would have never did it in front of his mom. That's true. Yeah. And I that's the phone. bold to call this woman's house. And he started calling back and calling back. Like somebody, bitch. Yeah, like my girlfriend's mom said, "Hey, Drake, can I talk to you in the kitchen for a second?" Mm. Mm. She shuts the door behind me, so she's so you know, beautiful. So yeah. That's such a beautiful thing to do. I mean, he's she's like, "What's up going on?" Phone, and I go, "That's crazy." Oh yeah, Brian. We we had plans. He goes, "No, no, no, no." What's really going on? A forty-something-year-old man does not call my daughter's boyfriend like that. Mm-hmm. That's the truth. I'm like, getting so upset, bro. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Can you imagine if he would have did that when his dad found out that he was? Oh, you know, he is. He, is he would have still been strange. calling when his dad was at the door. From him because I called my mom. She's like, "I'm taking Drake to see our therapist tomorrow because something, mm. something is going on, and we need to." Oh, out. that's so beautiful. Seems like he's in. Because he did need somebody. He, he did need somebody. somebody. I went to the therapist and I just was so scared oh. to just say anything. I didn't know how to explain. It. I mean, I still don't. I mean, I'm still like, you know, I've never talked about this outside of therapy. And I just, I just said, nah, you know, it's everything's, mm -hmm. everything's normal. It's just, you know, things are getting a little, a little weird, but, but nothing's happened. But think. You know, good thing we, we caught it when we did, you know. He had the ability to basically go, well, you're never gonna work with this person, you're never gonna work with that person. It was me believing that I would never be able to do this ever again. And I would have to go figure out how to whack surfboards or, you know. Shit, that sound peaceful to me at this point. How much PTSD do you get from waxing a surfboard? And so I just kept it inside. One day, I was just on the phone to my mom. I I just exploded. I have no idea what happened. Nah, she got to make that call. But I just screamed into the phone. Everything. 
My mom immediately called the police. And Good. Okay. Him, now that you know you did something time, about it. I was sitting in the dining room of my mom's house with a few detectives and my mom being asked what happened and get him to admit uh, mm, the trap. The trap. You could have just went to Disney World again to get yeah, him to well, admit it. This room of Shit. my mom's. He just started a full on confession. Oh, wow. Then, wow. He so kept weird. asking me over and over again. He's like, are we being recorded? I just hope that nobody knew it was me. And then what everybody kind of thought it was you. They sounded like they didn't know who it was at first. After I would Brian think adults was better. arrested, Dan called yeah, me, cause that was the kids. asked me, does this have anything to do with you? Brian was spending so much time around me that it was Oh Pretty obvious. God. I get a phone call from Drake. Probably know. I go, what's up? I haven't heard from you for a while. And I was like, oh, did you see they got him? I go, what do you mean? And Drake says, they arrested him for a molestation. Well, I knew it. Me. I knew it. And my dad just goes, I am so glad that he was not able to get his hands on you. We were starting to rekindle our relationship, oh, and I just couldn't. Damn. So I just said, yeah, they, you know, they got him. He's like, oh, I'm so glad. I knew he that was. That wasn't your responsibility. That was your mother's responsibility. It was. She should have called. She, that was your mother's responsibility. But it's the same thing like you said. And guess what? And that's why mom is not on here. I'm, I'm not, mm -hmm. It's a shame. I'm not the same today. It's the shame. You did everything that you mm -hmm. could, Dad. You did. You did. You did. It's just a. And mom is not here because she's I don't wish marriage. this on any yeah. parent because he told child. you whatsoever he told you don't you leave them alone you didn't have to understand it babe that's yes, enough that's 50 listen. 50. all you had to do was listen you don't always got to understand the other parent i'm sorry and then if when you didn't listen all you had to do was let him come back in yeah or at least let him know because when you realize that you didn't want to drive all them all them hours to north or to, to california wherever he had to go you should have had somebody you really trusted do it not yeah. somebody you don't know and period you know him because he told you not to be around him yeah this to think that this started was this happened before drake and josh doing a scene with josh it's crazy i was able to lose myself and and just have fun. He's I would have never imagined never this happened before. No. Him, uh, Josh. At least he still got to have this, but yeah, you know, probably the most. I'm sure he. This is hard. Traumatic to experiences do, in my life. But that traumatic experience just right behind him. After this happened, did anyone at Nickelodeon, any executives, talk to you, reach out to you? I'm not. I'm not really certain how many people knew. Mm. Who mm. it was? It wasn't they really brought knew. up to me a lot. Maybe because you know it's a very trust me. This subject. happens in their company. Mm. Um, they knew, but really the only they knew. They person were that I remember Dan immediately and asked him being there for me uh, was Dan. There was no therapy and was left to my own devices. It's Which better to I act like you don't know so you don't have to do anything about it. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping that the outcome would be he goes to jail, he kills himself a while and off his own motherfucking top so I don't have to work with kids. Is that what happened? No, that is not what happened. What oh happened? Not at all. Oh my god. So y'all made him disclose all of this information about every fucking thing he was going through to not do nothing about it for real please do not tell me that's I what i have a whole to look bunch, forward to a whole bunch of franks to throw at y'all if that's what y'all think is about to go on no because this is why people don't tell their story for what because I'm not looking for pity. I'm looking for something to be done. Maybe some type of closure. Maybe some type of something to let me know that this is not this is not gonna happen to somebody else. Yeah, that's crazy. I would have never thought. He sodomized me. Yeah, when I read, I think it was in the first part or the second part when I read this that he was arrested for six years. That was before they showed what he actually did. 
But after seeing what he did, no, that man needs to be away for. Her. That's crazy. And then if he's able to work with kids again. It's even more crazy. It might be best that they didn't tell dad, to be honest with you. It might be best they didn't tell that man. That was a lot, y'all. That was, that was a, a lot. Heart puller for real. A lot, man. Shout out to Drake Bell, though, man. He. That's a. That's I want to really man. say shout outs to the girlfriend's mother, like for her just being attentive and paying attention. And like, you're absolutely right in saying, like, he wouldn't have responded like that to Brian calling in front of his mom. But Brian I but have even did to that be to very to be very honest, I just really think that if you really pay attention to people, you will know oh, when yeah. something is off. Like Especially your own like kid. I was literally talking, texting one of my friends and she seemed off and I was like, You seem off and she's like, Oh, you know this, I love you. Yes, because like when you really pay attention to somebody, you really know if they're off. Yeah. Even just the slightest thing. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, and this had to be a different kid. This had to have been a different kid. After what he'd been through, he had to have been a different kid. There's no way you say the same thing to that. This is That's hard, crazy. y'all. This is hard. And, and to think that Drake is the only person that we're hearing the story from, but. I'm sure he's not the only person that this has happened to, and that's the sure, sad part about not. it. You know what I mean? That's the that's the that's the really sad part about it. And then it's not just you know people in Hollywood. Like let's really talk about it. Like this is really happening in schools. You know what I'm yeah. saying? In therapies. You know, you send your kids to fucking Girl Scout, Boy Scout. It's happening there. You send that's your kids to like, church. The priest is doing. Some people it's just crazy. don't need to be around kids like that. Like control yourself or try that with someone your own honestly i'm gonna be very honest if you know you have a thing for kids you shouldn't just you shouldn't just you shouldn't be here like maybe this world isn't for you because there's always going to be kids so maybe you you you're the problem and you need to go and you need to do whatever you need to do to make sure you handle yourself i don't know if there's an adult on the world okay that needs to be reported asap that needs to be reported if you know that's going on just report it because it What's not reporting it going to do? It's just going to make him do this shit with more kids. You talking to the parents? Yeah, like or anybody who just knows of that going on, report. You got to report it. It's like your duty to report it. And then, like, what really kills me is the fact that we know Nickelodeon knew, and or or say they didn't know. But how dare you not motherfucking ask, ho? How dare you not motherfucking ask when it's somebody? You know what I mean? Well, that like you potentially have to work with. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, you y'all work with Brian Peck. So, yeah. even, okay, so let's say that they didn't know because they didn't go to Dan. Yeah. Y'all didn't give a fuck enough about the kids to ask. But oh, this shit. is y'all big company, your yeah. big brand. I'm like a thousand percent sure they do. But this is what I'm saying. So then you know and you do nothing about it. You don't get this boy help. You want him to keep going in front of cameras you, and, and fucking acting like everything is okay. You don't do nothing about it. I don't like that. But y'all, let us know how y'all feel down in the comments. I'm ready to fight. <laughs> let me know if y'all down the ride out for a motherfucking homicide. You feel me? Um, To all the motherfucking molesters, kill yourself. You heard? Or go to motherfucking therapy and help yourself. Children, Frank. I can't. I'm. I'm. Excuse me, y'all. I'm really upset. Um, and not even because I could relate to like, you know, being, you know, having something done done to me by someone who you love, right? But it's like the fact that people are not speaking up about it i think that's the main problem for me like why are you so guilty that this happened to me that you're not saying anything yeah. it didn't even happen to money. you money it's all money no but even you the fact that drake's mother is not here like were you not here for me or were you not here for you and if she's just not here on this earth then i apologize but you know i'm just saying like yeah. what's going on like i appreciate that black mother who was vulnerable with us and let us know like she did do a lot and then she had to get off the like you know what i mean and then like the dad who did the most and he had to go yeah. 
But the ones who sitting back and really just letting people just do with their children as they wish, I don't know. I could never. I could never. Literally. 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 So let me know if y'all down the ride for a homicide down in the comments below. We appreciate y'all for rocking with us for yet another video. We truly appreciate y'all. His entire side of the courtroom was full. Full. Wow. There were definitely some recognizable faces on that side of the room. And my wow. side was, uh... Mm. My mom. And my brother. My dad. Your dad didn't get Brian to come? Or maybe he didn't, oh, yeah, he didn't know. 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 A lot of people in the industry and That's your sad, dash bro. would have been near family. Yeah, I was bro. pretty shocked. I addressed my statement to everyone in the room. Mm. I looked at all of them. And I just said, How dare you? Mm hmm. And I said, What this monster? Mm -hmm. And cry. Because if you're in the courtroom, then you're hearing what's going on and the, what's and being presented. What yeah. Even if you didn't hear before, yeah, you can yeah. walk out to yeah. show that now I'm in stance with you. You can even walk to the other side. <laughs> you can switch sides. You can switch sides. Bro, People do it all the time. Like <laughs> okay. Contested two charges of child sexual no abuse. contest is crazy. Wow, this is crazy. This is why you just, just anyway. Let me not. And the judge sentences him to. This is why you gotta be willing to do 25 to life. 16 months. That's not enough. But we wanted to understand. Drake has this trauma forever. Sixteen months. So we petitioned the court to unseal the letters of support in this case. <gasps> letters of support are meant to influence the judge during the sentencing. In this case, most of them are asking the judge just to give Brian probation. Dan Schneider does not write a letter. Top executives hey. at Nickelodeon do not write letters, but we don't know exactly That's what these crazy. people were told about Brian's crimes before they wrote the letter. Mm, you ugly. Just you know, everything about you now. You look so happy and jolly when I first Brian met you, but now that I know who you really are, it just like the doesn't sit well with me. And the stage manager, Beth Carell, Rich says that it would be my pleasure to work with him mm. again. Brian Peck does end up working with the Corrells again on the Disney Channel show, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Oh my God. It shows that there are not enough protections. <coughs> this is after. How is after? Off of kids TV shows. Drake very explicitly does not blame Dan for any of this. But mm -hmm. it's clear that the system needs and Dan didn't write a letter, so he don't support it. Yeah, Dan didn't hire him again. So you know what I mean. Dan's like, just a nasty man in his own right. To adults, kids are off limits, y'all. I don't play about the kids. I ain't gonna lie. The mid 2000s is somewhat of a golden era for Nickelodeon. There is a spate of. Yeah. Yeah. If I see your kid walking down the street and somebody fucking with your kid, I got your kid. Trust me. Oh, Dan Schneider was still on these? I didn't know that. Victoria Justice. I didn't and know that this was all still Dan Snyder. What about Ned's? His shows are cultural juggernauts. Especially Hi, Has show. he been treating women better, though? Has he learned his lesson? Has he been hiring women? If you've got Working with them well. To 12, That's what I want to know. A daughter like mine who's At one point, they, they did an episode where Michelle Obama shows up on it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Carly Dan is able to consolidate power at Nickelodeon in a whole new way. And this is around the time that the Disney Channel starts truly competing with Nickelodeon. They had massive oh, yeah. hits like Hannah Montana and mm. Zach and Cody. So as Nickelodeon is facing all of this competition, it wasn't competing was with the That's So Raven, even Stevens. Was in really I thought they were competing. Was then. He's Dan Schneider, a man with I mean, Nickelodeon. Was when we stopped watching it because Disney Channel was missing those cartoons for. What do you got like going? A little bit older kids. Aren't... Some of these seem pretty innocuous, where it's Dan recording the editing bay. Oh, like, kind of back to Dan. Mike mm -hmm. Carly, and we're working on the next episode. Dan Schneider, I'm here with some of the iCarly writers. Hello, iCarly writers. 
Is that all men? You can really see yes. the power We're still he doing learned, these things. He learned his lesson. It's a lot of I can't even come anymore. Getting into Whatever going to keep you and from you being fucking a weirdo. discomfort on people's faces. Even though I think having no women in a show about women is disgusting. In in song, right? Dan. You don't think you got enough going on after Brian? He's definitely my bread and butter. I mean, that's that's what I'm paid to do. I'm paid to get kids from all the way from six to fourteen. At what point do you get too old to figure out what a six to fourteen year old do without being around six to fourteen year olds? Oh, he needs to be around six to fourteen year olds, probably. We're getting ready to fly. But his style had a little bit of edge in it. It also really pushed the boundaries of sexualizing young girls. It's so cool. Want to get slapped with a sausage? Sure. Another of Dan shows. Zoe 101 is this high school boarding school. I never would have thought this was Dan, but this is how you know he got a budget that was out of this world. I started Zoe 101. Ooh, I never left green shirt backpack. When I look back at it, my <laughs> I wasn't a fan of Jamie because I was such a fan of Britney, so I just and she looks so much like Britney. She looks just like Britney. Yeah, so I couldn't really do Zoe 101, but I was too old for that. By that time too. <laughs> How about this top? You like this top? It makes me look chesty. We don't need to be hyper conservative of what bodies, but that didn't represent even me as a girl at that age. Mm hmm. Did you say it makes me look chesty? That's crazy. But when you are using nubile sexuality as a marketing yeah. tool, that's where it gets sticky. A kid's show should be exactly what it is, a kid's show. And sometimes there were scenes where there was a prop that was yeah. like... Right, holding them coconuts right up. Mm, that could be a sexual innuendo. And his show, Victorious, took this to a whole new level. With that show, there were online extras that the network did not fully know how to deal with. Time for your nap, tomatoes. There are several scenes with Ariana Grande. Yeah, I wasn't watching by this time. Really, mm -hmm. I think almost difficult to see as anything but sexual watching. But I think this is online videos now. Yeah. I'm thirsty. Like the YouTube. But this is a show for kids, so. It's not even like it's what teenagers. Is this? These are kids. <laughs> Dan, he behaved in a way that was. He's still treating women. Dan is a creep. Especially when it comes to women. There was always someone massaging him. That's like all I remember. <laughs> you know what? He needs to get that massage I got. Since he liked massages so motherfucking Dan much was like asking me. for this incredibly inappropriate thing for almost two decades. Get the small ones since she like fucking kid tan so much you fucking him. creep. Everyone knew it from New York Creepy to California. Shit. So who would we go to? This is crazy, y'all. Definitely crazy. In 2014, we have the Kids' Choice Awards. It's also the awards where Dan is being celebrated. I'm happy to be here to honor Dan. But there is one person that oh. does not show up. And that is Jeanette McCurdy, who was the co-star on Sam and Cat. Mm. People were just thinking, oh, that's. I just oh, liked she her. She's she was funny. She's I forgot what show. People. I mean, what Maybe might have been like Carly. She's she been was with funny. This guy forever. Why is she not there? I wanted to read that book. Later, Jeanette McCurdy publishes a memoir about because I've heard her story. About, uh, yes. It's yes. like I might have like uh, watched the clip of one of her. But the memoir also answers mm -hmm. a lot of. Really it was issues with her mother forcing her to pretty much do the child acting. And about Dan wow. Schreiber, who she began working with around age 13. He'll call mm. people idiots, and she remember it too. Stupid, yeah. dumb, sloppy, mm. careless, and spineless. The creator mm. knows how to make someone feel Wow, like that's her, her who wrote that book? I never would have thought. Crazy. I did watch an interview. I took mm -hmm. an interview by Talking about the book, right? Of people on your shows was an open secret. The situation got so stressful on the set of Sam and Cat. Nickelodeon launched an internal investigation. After the investigation, Dan Schneider was no longer allowed to really interact with the cast anymore. Dan has always been such mm -hmm. a hands-on yeah. showrunner. So for Dan, this is the biggest. Can't even watch the next Dan come up. And you chose to stop you getting massages. Give, I was gonna say you chose to give up your massage pass on set. Yeah, I doubt it. 
the union representative said I wasn't mm -hmm. the only one. They just be waiting for more people yeah. to say something. Shock and displeasure that this was allowed to go on. And don't it make you feel good when you realize that you're not the only person who spoke up or like someone mm -hmm. understands you? It just makes you feel in 2017, Nickelodeon launches yet another investigation into Dan Schneider. It's not because they have a smoking gun, it's because the Me Too movement has helped us sort of rethink and reevaluate what we think is appropriate and not appropriate in the workplace. Yeah, Dan wouldn't Me be too back. got him out of here in the end. It's because social media, with social media, it yeah. makes it very hard to just sweep shit under the rug like they would have done and like they've been doing. When you got somebody under your Instagram page every day talking about Dan Schneider, you're gonna eventually, you're, first of all, you see it, but you're gonna get tired of it eventually. You're gonna turn the comments off and then the, you're gonna realize I have to let him go. They gave him an amount that was reported at the time at about $7 million. Mm -hmm. You know, it Six was just seven. a really quick, really sharp break. That it was a toxic environment and seeing how the show just kept on rolling and these people who were criminals mm -hmm. disappeared it that's exactly what happened to quite them. cynical about the reality of of power dynamics and it made me trust people less mm -hmm. that camera is watching every single downfall Brittany, oh god, yeah. I hated this this era of Brittany what they that's did why, to her. That's why Beyonce fucking keep herself how she do. Her parents was they, uh, involved. Issues with addiction. I hate what they did to Brittany. How are you? I don't like that either. Conservative chips with your parents who put you in this situation to begin with. I don't like that really. This I understand it, but I was at rock bottom. So I checked into treatment. Okay, trying to get and yourself I to go help. A lot of trauma therapy, a lot of grief therapy, and be surrounded by people who, for the first time in a long time, can understand you. Mm. Wanted to just see me get better. Mm. Yeah, I want nothing from you. That's it. It's their job. I love that. He put himself exactly where he needed to be. Yeah. It'll turn into chaos. But I would love to be able to create an environment where we're not so vulnerable and susceptible. Oh, they're crying when the light go down. Outside dangers. Because it's like an example of how Hollywood just shuts you down and like that's it. We heard your story, now we're good. Now that's it, we got what we need from you. It's just another example of how people get what they want from you and then they're done. To me, that's just how I seen it. <sighs> Thank God Mr. Bell knows what's going on now. Because now what do we do now to support these people and make sure they get the help so that they don't pass this trauma on to their children? Yeah, they're grown, yeah, but still, like, yeah. you can still try to fix Keep the mistakes that were made in the past by doing something today, right now. If, you know, they're willing to accept that. Oh, man, this was hard, y'all. This was hard, y'all. Young Drake Bell. One of the MVPs. Better days ahead of us. It's greater later, y'all. Oh, stop, Dan. Over the years, our own high standards. Nickelodeon, you are full of baloney. Forever. And that's exactly why my son don't even watch Nickelodeon. And I don't think he motherfucking went. Because this is crazy. That was deep, man. Yeah, that was super deep. deep, super deep. That was a deep look inside. I don't want to ever look inside again. And to the the people who came out and exposed the two um, 
producers or like people on the show who were molesting them, I really do hope that they get the therapy and the support that they need now and continuously, right? Because it, you know, everybody is gonna hit them up now and say, I'm sorry that this happened to you, this is that, but in two months when there's another story, are you gonna forget that this person is still home dealing with this? Because they've been dealing with it alone for years and just, you know, remember that even when we forget about the Nickelodeon movie, like as it goes deeper and deeper, because there's more things that's gonna get exposed, and you know, Disney might have a movie, P. Diddy about to get his little movie, his, you know what I'm saying? Bill Cosby's still about to get his, you know what I mean? So it's like, as we learn more and more about all of these instances that's happening, let's not forget about the people who came forward and said something, you know what I mean? Because they are still going through it. And, it's, it's really unfortunate again y'all if y'all want to come and y'all down the ride for the homicide let me know down in the comments how y'all feeling child because this was a lot it was a lot and i'm definitely gonna have to sit on this one for sure mm -hmm. sit with this Definitely. Make sure you guys leave some more requests down below to yes, anything you guys want to watch. Let us know. Leave it in the comments. Roll to 10k. Make sure y'all subscribe on YouTube and subscribe on Patreon. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Like the video, share the video, and watch another one. Wise Guy Game over and out. Bye.